I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness, and welcome to your cardio and abdominals workout. Now, this is an interval-based workout, but we're going to have, of course, your heart rate really soaring, but we're also going to focus a little bit more on your abdominals, on your core. Let's go ahead and get started with a quick warm-up. Take your feet together, and then give me a big step out to the left, and reach for that left ankle, that left arm coming up towards the sky. From there, come center and switch sides a little faster. Up and side and up and side. So working as fast or as slowly as you need at the start of this workout here, just to get warm. Now, thank you so much for taking the time to join me for this little challenge that we're about to encounter. I love cardio videos. They're my absolute favorite to film. They're my absolute favorite to do on my own. So I'm uh, pretty psyched. Bringing a lot of energy to this workout, and I hope that you're doing the same. And if you're not, don't worry. Hold this one down, give me little tiny reaches past that right ankle. Three, two, one. Switch side, reach for the left ankle, give me little tiny reaches, reach and reach. For three, two, and one. Now meet me center, legs are wider than hip width apart. You're going to squat, twist, squat, twist. All right, the format for the workout. You have three sets of moves. The first, a cardio move. The second, a strength move. Cardio for 45 seconds. Strength for active recovery for 15. And they all have an abdominal component. Three, we'll stand, we'll learn that first move. Two, and one. All right, come up to stand. First move, I'm gonna turn on the diagonal so you can see. You're gonna reach your arms up, give me a kick, and reach opposite a hand towards opposite ankle. Kick, kick. All right. We're already in it, so join me when you can. Now you can see, I'm kicking, I would say fairly high. I teach this move a lot in my in-person classes in Zurich, so I've had some practice. If this is too high for you, kick low, kick low. Totally fine. Kick where you kick. Nice, now try to keep that pelvis stable. Lower abdominals are engaged. Kick. First round, I'll give you a lot of physical cues because I will have enough breath to get through it. Second and third round, let's see. 10 seconds. We'll learn our active recovery move, our strength move. Three, two, and one. Wide plie squat, hands behind the head, side bend. We're just here for 15 seconds, and then we go back to the high kick and twist. Eight, in six, in four, three, two, stand up, high kick and twist. Woo! Okay. So just like that, we're in the second round of that first set of exercises. I'm not sure if I mentioned, three sets of moves, three rounds per set. Just so you know what you're in for. <laughs> and then at the end, you'll have a finisher challenge. I know that it sounds long. You're like, three rounds, three sets of moves, and a challenge. It's gonna fly by. So give me 100% as fast as you can. Four, three, we go for that little side bend. Two, one, hands behind that side. Strength move, active recovery. This is the time of your heart rate down. Side. You can also do the standing, that works better. We go for those kicks. Two, one, up, and kick. All right, I'm feeling my abs. I'm feeling my obliques here. I was working on the side bend, and you're working a little bit as you twist side to side. Notice how we're in that third round, and you can hear Harder for me to talk, for sure. You should be in that same boat. So don't be um, nervous. If you get a little bit out of breath, if you need to, of course, you can slow down. But in a cardio workout, getting a little out of breath is normal. It's actually what we're going for. Because when you're doing the move wrong, or you're getting too much, two, one side bend. If you start feeling dizzy, we're disoriented. Take a pause. Out of breath, fine. Dizziness, not so great. Three, two, one. All right, come up to stand. Give me a little step touch.
touch it side to side while I talk you through the second set of moves. First exercise, your cardio exercise, mountain climbers classic. Hands are going to come to the mat, and you're going to jog the knees. Now I'm going for a cross body mountain climber. So opposite knee towards opposite elbow. From there, you're going to give me rolling side planks. You come to the elbow, open up, hello. Other elbow, open up. Now come back center, find a plank, we mountain climb in three, in two, and one. Here we go. All right, 45 seconds here. Cross body mountain climber. If it's too much to jog, no big deal, you're gonna give me slow climb. Slow climb. I'm happy to see it, so take what you need. You gotta take what you need, get what you can, and I'm happy. All right, now full disclosure. I have filmed another video before this, and it was arm focused, and it was so fun, but my arms are tired. Woo, this is gonna be tough for me. Three, okay, I like tough things. Two, and one. Side plank, rolling side plank. If you need, you can drop to your knees, no big deal. That's always my phrase. When it comes to um, teaching, Fitness. Take a modification, no big deal. Three, two, and one, mountain climbers. Wow. Okay, first round, I was feeling good. The second time, I'm really feeling it, let's say. Keep going for it, keep giving it to me. If you need to take a break, I understand. Take a break as needed. Keep breathing. I'm gonna start to sweat a little extra. I love it, 10 seconds. We side plank. In three, in two, and one. Meet me in your side plank. Oh, feels like a break, honestly. Oh. The strength move is active recovery, so this is your time to bring the heart rate down. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. Good. For three. For two. And one. Okay, I'm taking my knees down for a second. All right, step those feet out. Here we go, mountain climbs. Sometimes you just need a little time. This is the third round, final round. Thank goodness. I needed it. Now notice, belly is pulled in here, nice and tight. That's the hardest thing. For me, with a plank or a mountain climber, is I never pull my belly in tightly enough. So I get a little lower back pain. I'm really working on it. 15 seconds. Can you run a little faster? Woo! Oh my goodness. This is too good. Five seconds. I keep looking at the clock. Can you tell? Three, two, one. Reach. Have I ever been so happy to be in a side plank? Never in my life. Oh, side plank. Twist. Side plank. One more, the opposite side. Good, reach. Back center, knees down. Come up. Toe taps. Okay, third round. If you have a towel, you said two, it's three. If you have a towel, you can wipe away your sweat. If you need water, take some water. And once you have those things, Give me a little taps, okay? Third move, we're gonna hit the ground, straight leg bicycle. What does this mean? It means we're going for a bicycle crunch, which you've likely seen before, but with straight legs. You twist and twist and twist. Too much, bend the knees. Still too much, take the knees a little higher. Second move, we're gonna go into a bear plank. Lucky you, lucky me, another plank. You float the knees, you pull the knee into the chest, out, down, in, out, down. All right, ready? We're gonna take off in five seconds. Get ready for that bicycle crunch. Three, two, and one, here we go. Woo! Now this is your cardio move, so you gotta take it fast. I expect always with a core exercise for the heart rate to slow down, that's fine. Maybe it's not as fast as it was with mountain climbers, 
but you're moving fast enough where the heart rate isn't um, going too low, right? You're not relaxing. Definitely not. 15 seconds. Keep alternating, shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. Good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Flip over, find your bear. Okay. In, out, kick. One more each side. Kick, in, out, kick. Lower the knees, slip over. 45 seconds. Here we go. Okay, use that breath. If your hip flexors are ever bothering you, if it becomes too much, go into the bend knee crisscross. That's fine. Now I do these kinds of moves all the time. But, oh, is it challenging? Whew. Take it a little bit slower. Good, 10 seconds. I've got my little plant brushing my head. It's kind of cute, it's like it's encouraging me. Three, two, one. Oh, knees in, okay. Bear plank, this feels like really active recovery, like totally chill for me after those bicycles. Five more seconds. One more each side. In, out, down. Lower those knees. Flip over. Here we go. Twist, twist, twist. All right, this is the final round. Okay. Goodness. And then we get into our finisher challenge where we're going to review all of our moves. But right now, I'm really in the plants. Try to keep that belly from doming. I'm having to really focus on it because I'm tired. 10 seconds. Whew. My goodness. Who knew this was the sleeper? Toughest move the whole thing for me. Three, two, one. Oh, gosh. Okay. I also struggle, okay? I guess you think I'm, on, I'm doing it all and feeling like this is easy. I have someone say that to me. I make it look easy. <laughs> I don't think I'm making this look easy. <sighs> but if I am, it's not easy. Don't be slow. Yeah. Okay, lower the knees. And come up to stand, step touch. Water towel, what do you need? Fine, no, challenge. Here we go. So we have all of those exercises. We're gonna do them each 30 seconds. Running from the top all the way to the bottom. We begin with high knees, or excuse me, high kicks with a twist. You ready? Let's go in five seconds, okay? In three, in two, you ready? Take off, finish your challenge, let's do this. Arms up and cross. Oh man! I don't know how many times I've said that in this video. That's apparently my catchphrase, oh man. I don't know if I can, like, oh girl. My dad always says, oh baby, I should say that. Oh, baby. 15 seconds. No, 10. Even better. Cool. Okay. Up next, we the sumo side bend. Man, I'm like nostalgic for this first round move. Come to the side bends. Because, I don't know if it's just me, but round two and round three were harder. Maybe that is just me. If it was just me, let me know. What round did you think was the hardest? Good. Come back center. Palms down, mountain climber. Zip, mountain climbers. Okay, we're working it. Keep pulling that belly in. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. We're not back here. We're not up here. Hips down, shoulders over the wrist. 10 seconds. We have our rolling side planks in three, two, and one. Here we go. Rolling side plank, side plank, side plank. Good, keep pulling the belly in. Keep lifting the hips up, don't let them drop. 
All right, bicycle crunches coming up. Final two moves. Big moments here. Good, for three, for two, and one. Flip over, laying on your back. We bicycle crunch, here we go. Switch, 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 switch. Oh. Okay, so this feels better. Now that we have them down, bend your up. Now really twist, it's not just the head, it's the rib cage. Up here, twist and twist. 10 seconds, final move. Oh. In three, in two, last one. Pull the knees in, flip over. This is it. You find that bare plank, here we go. In, out, down. Knees are hovering off the ground. Nice and low. Again, hips are not high. My hips might be lifting, if so, don't worry, when I watch the video, I'll comment on it internally, and I'll know next time I can lower them. That's all I ask for you as well. Notice, and try to improve next time. Good, three, two, last one, you ready? Oh man, come up to stand, give yourself the biggest round of applause. I was just shocking myself. This looks like I just showered. I think it does. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. You can go for little step touches here. Breathe. Let that heart rate come down. If you want to keep focusing on your abdominals, I have a wide range of abdominal videos available to you. Personal favorite, I like the All Out Ab Burner for my full power series. Okay, great. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.